Roy Kahn was a true pioneer, a surgical pioneer, but um, fascinated by immunology. Developed um, a drug called cyclosporin and, and um, put that into clinical use. It was really a watershed in transplantation because prior to cyclosporin there were only about 10 centres in the world seriously doing transplants. After cyclosporin, uh, within two or three years there were more than a thousand uh, because cyclosporin made uh, kidney transplantation respectable. About 50% of kidneys were working at the end of a year. But after cyclosporin, uh, it went up to more than 80%. I think we're going to see, in fact we have seen, the beginnings of the value of an antibody called Campath, which um, was developed by Herman Waldman with Cesar Milstein. But because of the locality, and I think also uh, Roy's open-mindedness about new treatments and approaches, this took Campath into, into a clinical arena of initially clinical trials, and in more recent years of, of becoming part of the standard set of treatments that can be used for transplantation. That is the drug which seemed to have rather limited uh, possibilities in the clinic. Uh, initially for the treatment of chronic lymphatic leukaemia and then our use of it in transplants. Uh, but it didn't seem that this was going to be good in a commercial sense for the shareholders of the company. Uh, and then uh, the recent work showing the value of it in uh, multiple sclerosis, which is an extremely common and very debilitating and horrible disease, uh, the fact that it's almost certainly going to produce a market that didn't previously exist for this compound. So it's almost like history repeating itself, like cyclosporin produced a market and the Campath has produced a market. Well, the MRC uh, cropped up helping me, uh, I suppose, all of my career, certainly uh, until I retired, because I had, I had a program grant and I had various small grants from the MRC.